Hello, I'm Wendy. Today I want to show you a foundation roll with double crochet. First we make our slip knot, so make your own slip knot. I do it this way. Then chain two, and that's the uh, two chains we use for our foundation row to start. So chain two and I make a stitch marker in the second chain because sometimes in a pattern you want to use the second chain and sometimes I use the next chain. But for this I will uh, make a stitch mark in the second loop and the stitch mark is holding the uh, chain for me um, in place so I know that there is a stitch uh, in the corner. So I put my stitch marker in the second loop and then we're going to start with our basic for the foundation row. Because I'm going to use double crochet I make a um, yarn over. First I tell here that it's the second chain and in the next chain I will make a new stitch marker. But now we're going to yarn over because we're going to make a double crochet and now we can yarn over and not after we put our hook in our uh, first loop. I made uh, several foundation row stitches and here you can see the playlist for all the stitches I made a foundation row. So now we're going to start with the foundation row for this uh, tutorial and we have to yarn over and we're going to make double crochet. On the bottom you see the first loop and I point it here, that's the first loop and we're going to make our uh, hook into the first loop. I have one uh, yarn under and two threads above and pull the yarn through. So you have three stitches on your hook. For the foundation row we're going to use the three stitches and we're going to make a one stitch on the uh, left side. And the second stitch is the double crochet for the top upside. So first we're going to make one chain on the bottom. So yarn over and pull the yarn through only one. So we're going to make a stitch for the bottom. There you see. Then when you turn your work you can see the first chain on the uh, bottom of your uh, work. And we're going to use that stitch another time to finish the stitch. Because now you can see here the two threads, but it's not a nice stitch, but I will tell you later. Now we're going to make our double crochet, so yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And I explain that also I make a stitch marker in this stitch, because for the one stitch you can use the uh, second loop, and another you can make this one your first stitch. It's uh, important that you look at your yarn, at your pattern, at your stitch, if you're going to use the, this stitch or the second loop stitch. So you have a choice. I really love these tiny uh, stitch markers because they show you exactly which stitch you're going to use. So this one or the other one and I use two colors to show me the difference between the stitches. Again for our foundation row, yarn over and uh, put your work on the bottom. So I can show you where the two threads are we're going to use again to make a whole stitch of this bottom stitch. Now you can see there are two threads but it's not a nice stitch. So we're going to put our hook again in this stitch to make a nice stitch. And I will show you in uh, a second uh, what the difference is now for when you use it again. So yarn over Put your hook under the two threads on the bottom, pull the yarn through, and now you have finished the stitch. See, do you see the difference? It's now a nice stitch with two threads going into the next stitch, and then your stitch for the bottom is finished. We're going to make another stitch for the bottom, so yarn over and pull through only one for a new stitch for the bottom. Then we make our double crochet, so yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Here you see we have two stitches on the top, and on the bottom we have only one and a half. I will show you. This one is nice and going into the next stitch, but this one is not finished yet. You can see 
that these two threads are not finished. It's like this one, you go, it's going into the next, but this one is not finished and we must put our hook again under the two threads. So, yarn over and we're gonna make our next stitch for the bottom. Insert your hook under the two threads and there you see the stitch you're gonna uh, yarn under. Then on the other side, two threads on your hook, so you have four now. Pull the yarn through two and then you have three on your hook. So you finish the stitch on the bottom. We make a new one, yarn over, pull through one, and make your double crochet, pull through two, pull through two. So you have three stitches on top and two and a half on the bottom. Again, yarn over, go to the bottom of the stitch under the two threads, and when you're not sure, just check if you have under two, pull the loop through, and you have finished the stitch. Pull the yarn to one for make a new stitch and make your double crochet for the top. Again, yarn over, put your hook under the two threads on the bottom, make, finish the stitch, make a new stitch and make your double crochet. Here I show you how it's beautiful to see that you make your double crochet in a row. Yarn over, pull the Put your hook under the two threads and finish the stitch. Pull the yarn to one, make a new stitch and make your double crochet. Again, yarn over. Put your hook under the two threads on the bottom and finish the stitch. Pull a loop through one is a new stitch and make your double crochet. Now watch your foundation row with the double crochets. It's beautiful made and when you think it's not straight, just pull up, your hook, pull up your loop and then shovel a little bit all the stitches because there is a resilience in the top and there's stiffness in the bottom. But when you just shovel it, look, it's coming, becoming straight. So again, we're going to make our new foundation row stitches and I will show you how I do it with a rhythm. I will only tell my rhythm, yarn over. Pull the yarn to all the bottom stitches is finish the stitch. Pull the yarn to one is make a new stitch and I make my double crochet. Yarn over, finish the stitch on the bottom, on the two loops, finish the stitch, make a new stitch and make your double crochet. In short terms, yarn over, finish the stitch, on the two threads, Finish the stitch, make a new stitch, and make your double crochet. Yarn over, finish the stitch. Here I show you that the uh, thread you see here is easy to see where you must put your hook on. So if you put your hook on this side, then you can turn it a little bit and show if you have two threads on your hook. Then pull the yarn through to finish the stitch, make a new stitch, and you make your double crochet. So you don't have to turn your work upside down, just follow these threads on the side, and then you finish the stitch, make a new stitch, and make your When you think it's too hard to see on the side, then put your, uh, put your work on the bottom, and see if you are on the two threads, and then yarn over under these two threads. It's easy to see on the bottom if you like it. And then you make a new stitch and make double crochet. So find your own rhythm for making this stitch. Yarn over. Try to make this uh, side uh, put your hook on the two, two threads because it's easier. And then pull the yarn through. Yarn over, make a new stitch and make your double crochet. So this is the rhythm for the foundation row with double crochet. And here again I pull up the loop and shovel it upside down because then you can see it's uh, almost a straight line. And when you make your new row on the top of it, you can see that it's straightened out. I hope this tutorial was very nice for you to make these stitches. I'm from the Netherlands so I hope you understand all my English. 
And here you see that I have more foundation row in Dutch tutorials because I'm from the Netherlands. And I hope you can make these foundation rows in your future crochet work. So thank you for watching and have a nice day. And I hope I can see you again on my YouTube channel Wendy Rademaker. Bye bye.